Guys, today is Tuesday, and uh, we're, we're, we're getting there, you know? This is a day-by-day day thing, and I think at this point, everyone either knows someone who knows someone who has COVID-19 or knows someone who has had it and beat it, or knows someone who's had it and passed away. Uh, sadly for me, today was my first passing. Our good friend Hal Wilner from Siren Live is a music producer, genius, creative genius. I loved him so much. Everyone loved him. Every cast member loved him, and we will miss him so much. Uh, my thoughts go to his family and Sheila and Arlo, and everyone just take care of each other and stay safe, and uh, we're going to get through this, you know, uh, together. That's, uh, let's talk and... Uh, help each other out whenever we can. Uh, uh, I will talk more about how as the uh, as the weeks go on, obviously. Um, but uh, that was a. Uh, it's kind of a. Uh, I'm I'm happy that uh, today, our guests on the show are friends of mine. Um, Justin Timberlake is uh, my guest tonight. I've known him for seems like forever. Um, here is his charity. He's working with is it gofundme.com america's food fund um that's where he's asking everyone to donate uh they're splitting their uh money from feeding america and uh um world gosh central world central kitchen um which is very, they're both two amazing things which is also what russell wilson and ciara their charity is feeding america as well. Uh, and we have music from Avid Brothers, who want to give the directrelief.org. Um, all right, everyone, the show must go on. Uh, let's start the show with a monologue. Welcome to the Tonight Show at Home Edition. Hey, here's some good news. Today is National Beer Day. Americans celebrated with National Beer Breakfast, National Beer Lunch, and National Beer Dinner. Did I ever tell you that story about my dad? When he was getting... My dad had prostate cancer. He beat it. But he was, um, he was getting checked out, and he was like, wanted to stay local. We're from upstate New York, and he was like... Did I ever tell you this? I don't think so. He was like... <laughs> if you know my dad, he used to drink uh, a lot of beer. Um, anyways, he was like... Yeah, I'm going to get checked out. I go, yeah, absolutely. He's like, there's a good doctor. I go, are you sure he's good? Have, have you checked the references? He's like, yeah. He goes, all right, what's his name so I can check him out? He goes, his name is uh, Dr. Beer. And I go, <laughs> Dad. If, if, irony exi- if irony exists, if you can't, there's no way you can let Dr. Beer kill you. We're not letting that happen. We ended up, it was probably a great doctor, but we did not see, uh, I don't believe we saw Dr. Beer. Dr. Beer, he was going to go see. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, love you, Dad. I know you're watching this. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he probably did go see Dr. Beer and didn't tell me. Uh, maybe saw his son. <laughs> Dr. Dr. Light Beer. <laughs> Guys, uh, after 11 seasons, tomorrow is the series finale of Modern Family. That's right, they were fine for 11 years, then after just four weeks of quarantine, it's over. That's what it takes. Well, this isn't good. The CEO of SeaWorld has resigned after just five months on the job. Even crazier today, he was charged with hiring a hitman to take out Carol Baskin. Gosh, everyone's got it out. (laughs) Poor, Poor Carol. Some entertainment news. There's a new show on Quibi called Murder House Flip, where people renovate notorious homicide homes. But I'm more excited for the spin-off show, Tiny Murder House Flip. Some sports news. UFC President Dana White said he's securing a private island so fights can continue. Yep, people fighting on a private island, or as I call it, every movie starring Jean-Claude Van Damme. I saw a lot of people are now calling for the SAT to be completely online. If this happens, testing boards are asking kids to make sure they use a number two computer. During quarantine, many Americans have been studying their family genealogy. 
I guess after spending a month together, everyone's thinking, am I really related to these people? <laughs> I read that some people are taking this time at home to learn an instrument. Yeah, because being quarantined with your family wasn't stressful enough. Let's throw in learning an instrument into the mix. You, you sound great, honey. Yeah, I always wanted to learn the violin. Is that right? I don't know about this. Uh, there's now an online recipe for Peeps-infused vodka. It's fun, except for the three hours you got to listen to a marshmallow bunny keep asking, do you, do you think I'm a pretty peep? And finally, a triathlete was competing in a virtual Ironman when she said her idiot husband tripped over the power cord. If you want to hear more on this story, tune in to next week's episode of Murder House Flip. There you go, everyone. That is my monologue. Uh, we have a great show, as I mentioned, uh, from the new Trolls World Tour movie. Justin Timberlake is here. Uh, we also have Russell Wilson, superstar quarterback, and Ciara, superstar singer, on the show, and music by the Abbott Brothers. Now it is time for our hashtag Ask the Fallons. Look like uh, Michael Myers from Halloween. <laughs> the, like the mask. I look like the mask. I look like Jamie Lee Curtis from Halloween. I mean, Honey. Jamie Lee Curtis is beautiful here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Welcome back to. Are you changing again? <laughs> Is there something else behind me? Oh, it's a sign. <laughs> that was an animal. <laughs> oh, Lord. That was an animal, a white animal following us. <laughs> all right. Gary. Um, so, we have good news. We yeah. lost a tooth today. Yes, you'll see it though in the interview. Oh, oh, cute. That's right. So, I spo forgot spoiler alert. Now. Sorry. Um, this is from at, these are all different questions people are saying, ask the, hashtag ask the Fallon. Okay. Uh, a lot of them are just stuff like, what do you eat and all this stuff that you, you wouldn't care. Olives. I'm obsessed with olives. Well, I mean, <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right. Well, all right. Jalapeno stuffed olives. Mm. You love olives? Yeah. How did you start with Graver olives? <gasps> Gravers have been in our family for a hundred years. Um, it's a great place out of mid California, uh, the Graver Olive Co Olive Company, and they <laughs> the are Graver delicious. Olive. Graver, You're the Graver. <laughs> what <laughs> is the Graver Olive Company, and they make Graver olives? I was meant to say Graver. <laughs> Graver. Anyway, the best olives. All right, this one's from Ad. Ad this one's from Ad Jacko one nine four eight Jacko. It said, who did all that amazing artwork on the walls of your house? Don't leave that. That's definitely a question for you. Yes. However, who did it is hilarious, unless they're speaking about one thing, because it is a lifetime of collecting heirlooms, like my grandparents' stuff, my dad's stuff, my mom's stuff, and then a lot of flea market digging and tiny little shops in New Hampshire and the Hudson Valley and Palm Springs has got amazing goody thrift shops and um, nothing's antique. Oh, eBay. Tons on eBay. Um, I really love finding great pa old paintings, vintage paintings, and our style, I say ours because it is ours now, is... <laughs> is, is anything of mine uh, hanging on the walls? <laughs> A little. Is like original. Name the sailing, the sailing room. That, uh, that whole That's thing. true, yeah, yeah. I do have some ship paintings. Ship, ship. paintings. We don't have any but real famous it. paintings. No, anyone, um, yeah. If you came in to steal our artwork, you'd have to steal like 2,000 paintings <laughs> to add up to anything, and <laughs> that would be so hard to steal. Yeah. Yeah, we don't actually have much of value. We just have things from the heart, things we love. House. Yeah. Valuable. Which is invaluable. Invaluable. Um, um, all right, this one is from, uh, at living in Fallon E, okay. living, living in Fallon E. Oh. What's the story behind getting a slide in your house? Everyone's asking about the slide. <laughs> is there a real uh, story? Yeah. Well, um, the slide is in an old barn and, um, the 
the only thing I knew that we wanted to do with the barn was put a slide down the middle of it, and I have a very did I know that? Curious, yeah, remember that that drawing? It didn't come out quite as cute as usually it things been. start with I like a drawing on an index card. Yeah, everything's on index cards. With that, that black no pen, that white. black ink, black flare pen. Yeah. And I drew this. I drew that slide coming down, and then if, once you draw it, I think you can bring it to life. So the point of it was because how cool and fun is that? I don't know. It just is so fun. I go down that slide usually all the time. I go down with tons of laundry that I have to bring around. I go down with anything. And I <laughs> Kids, use the slide, adults, everyone uses the slide. Shoot the way out and then, yeah, walk up the stairs. But do you remember the first time when we were dating and you saw my apartment and you're like, oh, this is cool, what's that? And I go, I want that to be a, um, a secret room. Yes. Like a behind the wall and you're like, yeah, why? I go, I did it? No. Oh, that um, you had like a uh, closet uh, or a no? It was like a pantry or something. The pantry. It's now our, like a pantry or something. Yeah. But at one point, I had something designed where if you sit on the chair, the wall spins. Yes. It's like a James Bond. I, I'm surprised I said why. Well, it was like, Maybe. what are you hiding from? Like, what? Oh. What? Why would you need a hiding <laughs> well, place? Well, I'm sorry, old self, for saying that. And no, because the then former, form before we were married, you. So then I had another idea to, to have a, a, a door that's in the cabinet of under our sink in the bathroom that you can go through the cabinet and come out the other bedroom and then go to Wadika and then like leave the apartment. I want to uh, say like why, but I would totally do it, so I'm in. Yeah, I, I have no idea why, but I'm glad we didn't. But I like it. we did put like a secret bookcase for the playroom for the kids. Yes. And we have a slide now. Yes. There you go. Yes. Hi. Hi, guys. Hi. Ooh, new shades, trying them out. They look good, bud. Aw, cute. Any other questions? I was thinking maybe I should interview you next week. All right, here we go. Bye. Back to the show. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, uh -huh. So on and on and on. Uh, I said. And it's so on and on and on.